It seems the further you get into the mech warrior careers, the harder things get, but the bigger and slower your mechs get. Many of them having interesting quirks that make them viable for some situations over others, and then every now and then you get the campaign mission that you know is going to be tough, and you want to outfit your lance with the best mech Seabills can buy. Well, right now, I'm showing you the one mech that's never failed me. So many times, I had a big mission coming up, and I'd load us all out in Warhawks. There are some different builds to choose from, but I'm quite fond of this build, which you will get a chance to see in action. But, it's decked out with PPCs ready to do maximum damage at range. And heck, that's what the Warhawk was for, wasn't it? <sighs> Too bad I don't get that special targeting computer. But you know what? It's really not that hard to get a good aim on distant mechs and tear through their armor anyways. Which is why this mech is the ultimate, especially at far ranges. But I've also still taken this guy in missions that were closer quarters and still obliterated the opposition from point A to point B. So for me, it's the mech that never fails and gets my rating of 10 out of 10 for all mechs available at our disposal. It's pretty cool. But now, let's get going and seeing what this thing can do. Well, let's see here. I didn't necessarily expect this to be a hard mission, but they are paying me to get this 20 million, okay? Of course, I did put, like, a lot of my resources into the money. And the difficulty is, what, 95 maybe? So, well, we'll see. But they, they seem to really expect a lot going on here. And so just for in case, of course, I brought my PPC Warhawk. When I don't know what's going on, and I'm not sure, but I know I want to win, I bring my Warhawk. This guy's pretty cool. You know, the downside with the Warhawk, this is the only thing I don't like about it. Uh, the arms. Uh, you know, they tend to get blown off sometimes, and that's where most of your firepower is. So that's something you got to be careful of. Of course, you have to use the Warhawk in the right way. So the map I'm on right now is the ultimate. Okay, it's colder, but we got a lot of open terrain, and that's where the Warhawk is king. The only place where I actually will not choose a Warhawk, and I'll actually t choose like an Atlas over my Warhawk, or a King Crab, is if I'm in the city and I'm expecting a lot of real close range, poking around corners, you know. I'd actually rather have an Atlas in that one regard. And I actually really like the Atlas D for that. But even in that situation, if you know how to use it right, still you can still put some distance you know, in the buildings, and you can still do well with the Warhawk. So in most cases, I'd rather, much rather have a Warhawk than an Atlas. Well, we know I gotta destroy something there. Oh! Skeet shooting. Of course, that was easy. Huh. Uh -oh. oh, we're going to destroy those guns. I mean, that's why they're paying us a lot of money. They want us to destroy orbital guns. They got something planned, haven't they? I oh, missed. I didn't think I missed that shot. No, oh, well. Ready? Oh, oh one shot. Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> Four PPCs of the center tarsal and he's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's surprising almost just how devastating this Warhawk really is. Of course, I, I go back and forth between two Warhawk builds with the PPCs. I do PPCs and SRM or PPCs and LRM, two LRM5s, uh, stream one, whatever. You know, I think, I kind of think the, the LRM build is more fun, and it's nice for, you know, if you're going to continue to long shot them. But every now and then when you get close and you got, like, turrets to destroy, you know, what the heck, do some SRMs, they work just fine. Can you already destroy that one? Yeah. Up the hill. Are you destroyed? You don't look destroyed. Alright. 
There it goes. Well, I haven't seen any big mechs yet. I guess they're over at the other raid place. I want to see them. I want to I wanna do some stuff. Those are my favorite buddies. Mad Dog, a bunch of LRMs. He does quite well. My other Warhawk buddy, he's got... Oh, I blew off this side of the mech. He's got uh, ER large lasers. He's kind of classic with ER large lasers and medium lasers. Okay, what did we drop? Anything important? Oh, Highlander. Don't worry, we'll take him apart quick. Oh, that was a terrible shot. This will be easy. Oh, well, he's gone. That was easy. Oh, oh, I was trying to hit his cockpit. I missed. Oh, well, he's gone too. This has not been very hard yet. Just been going right over him. Okay, up the hill. We'll get there. Anybody hiding here? No, we already got him, right? There's a blackjack, right? Blackjack was hiding here. Ooh. What's this? Something to pick up. <laughs> and you are? Uh, nothing important. I pretty much don't even touch anything under tier 4 now. If I can help it. I mean, in the beginning, this you can do, but... Oh boy, I sure missed that one. And that one, just hitting the ground. I think I'm getting too overconfident. That's one of my worst traits when I'm piloting clan mechs. Overconfidence. Sometimes I get myself into trouble. And I start to think that way. Any big guys? Nope. Let's hit you with a full blast. And he's dead. <laughs> oh, I should probably should explain, you know, what PPCs I got. I do not have tier 5 PPCs. I don't even have that many tier 5 PPCs. For some reason, I just haven't come across them. But they're the next best thing. They're tier 4. So... I don't know. They're do they're good. If you can help it, put uh, tier I think tier four PPCs are the best for the Warhawk. They're pretty good, but they're a lot easier to replace in tier fives. And you will lose your tier four every now and then when you get in some heavy battles and you lose an arm. So I think tier four PPCs are the best for the Warhawk. And I do not have ER PPCs, and that's important. You actually do not want ER PPCs in this Warhawk because it's too heat inefficient. And, you know, the tier 4 PPCs, the range is just fine. In, in this game, you don't have minimum range for them. So, just do yourself a favor, drop the ERs, and get yourself just some regular PPCs. I've tried the ER PPCs in lots of different situations, and I always find myself wishing I could go... I was just thinking, you know, I, I just need to go back to the regular PPCs. They're just so much better. Do so much more damage. Hardly overheat, you know, especially on cold maps like this. Anybody else here? Hello? This cannot be all there is. They paid me all this money for what, what I had to deal with here. You know, I don't think I need to bring my Warhawk. I should have brought my Timberwolf or something. Or my SRM Mad Dog would have done just fine. I would have preferred that because they go faster. Of course, a lot of these things I could have shot close range, you know. Maybe I should have brought my Nova and a couple of Kit Foxes. I think we would have done just fine. <laughs> yeah, we didn't need the Warhawk at all for this mission. Hey, what do I care? Took hardly any damage. I'm getting lots of money. I think I'm okay. Oh! This is why. Oh, boy. And you know they're dropping in full assaults. Okay, guys. Uh, Mad Dog, get back here. Get, guys, 
Guys, get back. Remember, our victory is in range, okay? Take him out first. Boom! Yeah. Don't worry, this is actually what I wanted. Okay, take him out next. Oh, oh, I was trying to get that cockpit. I can get your cockpit. No, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, well, at least you can't use your arm. There! I knew I could get a cockpit. Oh my goodness, did you see that shot with SRMs? I don't believe I've ever done worse. Well, my Warhawk buddy is taking quite a bit of damage. He's got some red on him. But, I mean, that's it. And, oh, really? <laughs> I actually didn't think I'd headshot him that time. PBCs are really good for headshots. Wow. Okay, that still wasn't that hard. The Warhawk there is a little bit hurt. But look at the rest of us. No, no problem. Now make sure you put as much range as you can between you and the, and the enemy with these builds. The further you are away from them, the, the better you'll do against them. It's a great build for that. And sometimes it's good to give some of the heavier armored you know, max to your buddies like an Atlas and make sure they're in front of you so that they're, one, they're ones that are going to take the damage while you can sit there and just destroy them with your PPCs from behind. And I do that a lot. Sometimes, you know, I'll tell my buddies to go up a little ways and hold position while I sit back and then just tear them apart, right, like that. Of course, you want to have lots of fun. Okay, we only got, we got two Warhawks, but bring four Warhawks, all of them just loaded with PPCs and LRMs so that you got the range. Oh boy, there is no scarier Lance in this game. Nothing is scarier, okay? I mean, it's the ultimate. Close range, sure, I'm scared of like a Lance of King Crabs, but if you've got some range, there's nothing scarier than a Lance of PPC Warhawks.